and then I started to teach him how to teach me. I guess that made him mad. I told you to move from north to south and you're going from south to north. What's wrong with you? He's the one who's gonna be pushing me around. So I said, oh, cool, cool. And he's screaming. I just told you about the porch and I did, you didn't blow the porch. I come to America and get fired for cutting grass and they found out in Jamaica and he said I should blow him I said what? 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 blow what? He tell me to jump I said how oh, high? I said oh just as high as you can it is fine I like to walk it from the side and I have to spend the rest of my life saying it wasn't me. But you had the weed worker. It wasn't me. They all had their money and Andy the friend. So I recently got me a job at the legendary on top of the world community as a grounds maintenance man. Or as I prefer to call it, cutting rich people's grass. And yes, I know they're not rich, but it makes me feel good to say that. You know, maybe it's that whole greener grass here. The grass at on top of the world is, for some reason, greener than the grass at my house. I should know, I've been cutting that grass every day. And yes, the reason why I applied for this job is because I was under the impression that you know, these type of jobs does not require a lot of supervision. You know, I figured that someone would just take me to the grass, hand me the grass cutting mechanism, and I would go to work, start cutting and making that grass beautiful. Then I go home. Or was I wrong? And listen, the first day I got to on top of the road, I get it. I just came from New York. Never been to on top of the world and I didn't know it was so big. It's a huge place. Uh, a lot of grounds to maintain, a lot of employees, a lot of houses. So I totally understand that it will take a lot of planning, a lot of coordination, supervision, management, micromanagement. And I'm sure there's another, another, another one under my echo, but I don't know, maybe someone will help me up with that one. You have micro, what's smaller than micro? <laughs> anyway, so my first day on the job, you know, the team leader, you know, he took us to this area in the community where we're gonna be working, in the vicinity where we're gonna be working that day. And he told me that he would like me to do some mowing using a weed walker. And I said, oh, okay, fine, okay, fine. And he, he, he showed me, pointed me the street where he wanted me to start. He said, start there, and then jump there, and jump. Then you jump over there, and you jump back over there, and you jump there over there. I haven't done so much jumping since I was born. I am not talking about jumping bones, street jumping, lane jumping, just that there and they jump over there and they tell me to jump, I say how oh, high, I say oh just as high as you can, it is fine, there's no requirements on how high you have to jump. <laughs> So he explained to me what he wanted me to do and then he he was went, you know, turned his back talking to some other guys. Then another guy came up to me with a blow on his back and he said, he said to me, he said, look, he wanted me to know that he is second in command. So when the other guy is not here, he is the one who gonna be pushing me around. So I said, oh, cool, cool. I understand. I, I know, I, I got it. So anyway, so he said to me, 
He would like me to, to move from north to south. And I think, what? Did I miss that geography lesson at the orientation? But anyway, I figured that if it was really important which direction I go, he would have just pointed. You know, I figured when he said north to south, I figured that was just the way my managers talk. So I just said, meaning, meaning, mining, and start home, start walking. This guy ran up to me screaming, I told you to move from north to south, and you're going from south to north. What's wrong with you? And I'm looking at, I'm looking at him, and I'm thinking, does this motherfucker really know whether he's east, west, north, or south? Let me, let me test, let me try him out. Let, 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 let me test him out. So I said, I am blowing from north to south, sir. And he started, he started looking around. You know, looking up in the sky. I don't know what he's looking up for. And then he came and, and then he said, Oh, you're right. Oh man, I, I apologize, I apologize. Oh man, you're doing such a great job, man. Keep up the good work. Anyway, so I walk weed all day, even though I haven't seen one weed tree. And of course, when I found out that it's not that type of weed. I know, folks, speaking about weed, I'm um, coming from New York recently. You know, they have. Uh, legalized marijuana, aka weed, in New York for the most part. And I was the guy who actually, I, I had changed the term from smoking weed to walking weed because I was observing how people was smoking, you know, I guess with the new legalized mentality and whatever, feeling good, they're doing it differently, more exciting, more vibes, more passion, you know, it's like weed walking. So before I let me, I actually changed the term from smoking weed, walking weed. Anyway, enough of that. So day two, and they took us to another section in the community where we we're going to be working that day. And our Team leader, Mr. Dan Carnilos. You know, they took us and he came to me and he said, okay, today he wants me to blow. So, so that day I'm gonna be one of the super blower guys. You know, so he explained to me how it worked. He said I blow the street, blow the driveway, blow the walkway and the porch, and in you know, a heavy house as that. So he just over and over. I said, okay, cool, cool. I got you, boss. Um, I'm on it. And then he went to talk to some other guys. And my micro manager came up to me. And I, I didn't formally introduce him, did I? Yeah, his name his name is Deputy Fife, my micro manager. His name is Deputy Fife from Mayberry. So Mr. Fife came up to me and he said, Okay, today I want you to pay special attention to the porches. Make sure you don't miss any porch. Make sure you blow all them porches. I said, okay, boss, okay, okay, no problem. I got it. Anyway, so I started blowing. I'm on one side, and he's on the other side. He's blowing on the other side. That's my micro manager. So after I finished the first house, I was on the second one. This guy ran up to me screaming. I just told you about the porch and I did you didn't blow the porch. I said I blow the porch, sir. When I was blowing the porch, you was blowing the driveway. That's why you didn't see. And said, oh, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. She said, oh, keep up the good work, man. Oh, you're doing a fantastic job. You know, folks, I have this um, you know, this blow on my back. Probably weighs 50 or 75 pounds. You know, I don't, I don't care, I blow anything. You know, it doesn't get any lighter or heavier. As a matter of fact, a guy came over with a weed, weed walker in his hand and he came to me and I said, and he said, 
I said, blow him. I said, what? 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 Blow what? So I was putting down my blower to sit him down and have a little talk with him. And then I found out that all he wanted me to do was blow the grass at his house. You know, he was weed whacking and all of the wet grass accumulate on his, on his clothes so he just wanted me to blow him off so I blowed him off and um, we all live happily ever after <laughs> anyway so day three um, Mr. Dan Carr and Nilus, you know, they took he took us to the area, the section where we're going to be maintaining, the ground that we're going to be maintaining that day. And that day he told me that he want me back on the weed whacker. I said, okay, cool, cool. I love to whack weed. So now this day I have, I'm, I'm, I'm weed whacking. Now I have another guy. Now, he, now that he's under the micromanager. So you have the micromanager. I'm not sure what the term, you know. What's, what's smaller than micro? We have the micro manager. So this time I have the, 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 the guy who's under the micro manager. He's a manager too. But he's under the micro manager. So anyway, I'm weed working and he's blowing. So, you know, somewhere along the line he came up to me and he, he said, he, you know, you'd like to give me some pointers. And out he was a weed worker. I said, oh. Cool, cool, cool. So he put on his blower, he took the wheel worker. But at this point I was, I kind of, I kind of, you know, kind of have it. I kind of have it together. But I guess everybody want to, everybody want to teach me. Some point. Enough teaching. <laughs> so anyway. He took the wheel walker and he started to walk some weed and he was showing me some stuff. And I was looking at him and he was doing it right, you know, you know, compared to the stuff that other guy, you know, the way other guy showed me. He was doing it right. So I, I called him out, I checked him. I said, sir, you're not doing it right. That you're not doing a good job teaching me. And then I started to teach him how to teach me. I guess that makes him mad. So he called our team leader and reported me. So the team leader spoke to me and I didn't ask him what the guy said to him. You know, I wouldn't ask him because of course I know it would have been anything except the truth. Because there's no employee gonna call the supervisor and say, hello Mr. Supervisor. I was teaching the new guy how to use a weed whacker and he told me I wasn't teaching him right and he started teaching me how to teach him and it makes me so mad. Anything but that. But yes folks, as far as working weed, the way I figured it, there's no wrong way to eat a Reese's or to work a weed. That's what I mean. I like it to work it sideways. I like to work it from the side. Well, you know, I found out something, right? And something I didn't understand because from from I started there, there's a little a little aura, you know, there's a little thing I didn't understand. But I know something was going on, but I wasn't sure what it was, you know. Some people have a little, this little look on their face when they see me. You know, so I know something was going on, but I wasn't sure what it was. And a couple of days ago, one of the guy came clean and told me exactly what was going on. And he said they actually took bets and how long I would last. And he told me they all had their money and Andy the friend. Oh, Andy, you can imagine I come to America and get fired for cutting grass 
and being found out in Jamaica? You know, Jamaicans can be very cool to one another. Next thing, every Jamaican singer making a song about me, and I have to spend the rest of my life saying, it wasn't me. Would you hide the weed walker? It wasn't me. But we caught it with the blower. It wasn't me. And the blower get louder. It wasn't me. But Greg got you on camera. It wasn't me. That would be terrible. But you know what would be great? Coming at night at the Circle Square. I really love working at on top of the world. They have some really, really great co-workers. Just some good guys to be working with, you know. Good team. I like that. On top of the world has everything. Except comedy club. You see the way I see it? I should be able to share these things with people so they can get a laugh. Some of my co-workers were laughing after me. They shouldn't be the only one to laugh after me. The whole world should be able to give them a chance to laugh after me too.